And goes on like that. And there are definitely special pieces here. I think the trunk will stay open today. Yes, it remains open. No problem. So folks, here we go. In fact, we're on a long journey. This trip will be almost once around the world, yes. So we're flying almost 30,000 kilometers in five days. And we are now starting here from Dusseldorf, flying to Doha, because there is an antiques fair there and also new dealers. We have a few problems with Omega models and so on, so we have to go on an exploratory tour. And of course, I also hope to discover new perfume brands. So for now, we'll stop off at the antiques fair and a few watch dealers in Doha. We stay there at night and then the next day we go to the world's largest watch fair. It's the first time I've been to Hong Kong myself. We will of course see the whole world and make new contacts. And I think it's going to be a very, very exciting video because I've seen content like this. Every Patek Tourbillon is there. Everything is on site. So I'm looking forward to it. Stay tuned and off we go. It's already evening now and I think we'll just have a quick bite to eat and then have to get ready. Of course, one thing must not be missing on the trip. We need the right perfume, we need the right gear, so gear in the sense of the right equipment. And what have we got? What have we brought here? Show. Alexandria 2 Travel Spray. That, my dear friends, is a 30 milliliter version of Alexandria 2. And yes, you can take it with you. So perfect for traveling. And what can I say? But now we have to go downstairs, I'm already too late, and I hope I can show you some really exciting, interesting things from the fair tomorrow. So folks, it's the next day, and we're about to start, and we've already got something to talk about today, namely prayer beads. This, for example, is Bakelite, a synthetic material. And this one was reworked. It was also available as jewelry or was made into jewelry for the ladies. And nowadays it is used as prayer beads or as jewelry for men. And here we actually have from the Ottoman Empire, what do you call it? Ottoman Lira, exactly, exactly. We also have one of these in our store. You don't find them that often. And they were used as payment in the Ottoman Empire at the time. And there is a lot from this at the fair. There is also amber, of course, we have we can also show that, that would be amber, for example. And this is then charged by the gram, depending on the color and type. The more grams, the more expensive it is. And yes, it is fossilized amber. But you've heard that before, and you can actually use it to pray. With gold is more decoration and what beautiful pieces. And I hope I can show you a bit more of it today. And we also go in search of other things. So, we've just arrived and you can already see. Compared to Dubai, it's just a bit smaller, there's less going on, but it also has its very own charm. So, all the facilities are perfectly built. And now let's see where the exhibition center is. Yes, and here like this, wow. Everything neat and tidy, wow. Let's walk through it. And here we can see the idle state. You can also see the different colorizations. This, for example, tends to be white. Yesterday, I also got an explanation of where to find which stone. And from these, you can have them cut and then make something like this out of them. This is already an amazing selection here. Let's keep walking. This is a very, very beautiful amber. It has a very, very nice marbling on the inside. You can see that here. So these inclusions are completely present. How much does something like this cost? This costs around 5,000 euros. These are all Ottoman shisha pipes. Okay, but I've never seen anything like that before. Yes, something like that is ultra, ultra rare. But also for stick, right? It can also be used as a stick, exactly. But they are mainly shisha pipes. Take a look at this beautiful piece. Here you can see the color again. Very dark, very antique. Some of it is over 200 years old. How old are these? So everything you see here is on average between 100 and 200 years old. I think this is the first time we've seen it here. It's the kind of amber, you know, also from Jurassic Park. You can also see small inclusions here, and it remains clear here. You can see it from prehistoric times. Super exciting. And the most expensive, the white one? 
White is very expensive, yeah. That would have been it, folks. Take a look at this, the walking stick. The front is from, perhaps you know the pattern, Fabergé. Wow. wow. Most people probably can't relate to it, but that's exactly what caught my eye, directly. Yes, from the Victorian era, and is just under $50,000, that's quite an announcement. All of these come from Germany? Yes, exactly. This is all from Germany? All... Yes, it's a long way. And from which year? Presumably around 1850. And nowadays, nobody can imitate it. Exactly. Somehow I can't imagine that, but... Madness. Yes, 50 euros per gram. How many grams do you have here? About 700. And this is more where I am now. Take a look at this. It's absolutely insane what's going on here. Wow. Madness. Wow. Now ask how this can be transported. Madness. Yes, that's quite a stand. I think the owners actually come from Russia. Great, great work. I think I'll find something here. I think we'll get something for a store here. I think we'll find a selection here today. Let me put it this way. This is it. So guys, yesterday I found a few perfume brands that are only available here. Unfortunately, I've already packed it up. I'll have to show you another time. It's now 5.30 and we're off to the airport because we're going to Hong Kong for the trade fair. It's a six hour flight and we arrive at 16 o'clock local time. And then we have to, yes, it's all a bit of a mess now. And I'm a bit confused too. And then we'll see. In terms of jet lag, I don't even know where we are, but we'll be fine. And then it's all about watches, all about watches. The plan is to find a few new dealers for Omega models and date just 36 and maybe for America for a few larger watches. We'll just have a look. The content is also an issue. Now I'd say it's off to the airport first. I have to say, the airport is one of the most luxurious I have ever seen. It's so neat and check-in process also 10 out of 10. So I think Qatar is a great alternative to Dubai for anyone who wants to have it a bit quieter, perhaps coming with the family. It's even more familiar, very nice. You may have noticed that the Louis Vuitton Hotel is currently under construction in Paris. And I didn't know there was a Louis Vuitton lounge here either. Let's go there now and see what it's like inside. You can only get in with an invitation, which we've now received, and now we're going to take a look. flying with Qatar Airways this time, as we did on the outward flight. Well, let's see what kind of pajamas there are this time. I can also show you the first class. It's quite spacious, but the machine is a bit older. We are now flying for just under six hours, and when we arrive, it is 16 o'clock, but noon German time. So quasi... Jet lag will definitely be severe. What else do I have with me that I can show? Nothing special, except the bag. So we'll have a quick change of clothes and then we'll be right back. Here we are again. The pajamas are from a brand I don't know yet, the White Company. Otherwise we have everything from Detrique. And the funny thing was that the business class flight was actually just as expensive as the first class flight. At least that's what my sister told me. Let's go over to the cabin and I'll show you a bit of how the whole thing is laid out. This is what the whole thing looks like. This is the cabin. You can't close the whole thing now, but it's definitely very spacious. There is a TV here and a small bench. You can also sit down again and buckle up, perhaps with the child. Yes, it's very, very big. It's a somewhat older machine. I don't think they would do it like that today and close the whole thing a bit more because they could have simply closed it. The 
flight went relatively quickly, and this is what it looks like here. Now it's off to the hotel, and then... So you have to say it's 2 a.m. in Germany and 9 p.m. here. The fair is tomorrow, and then we'll see. Now we'll go for a bite to eat. Here we go. I think the trunk will stay open today. Yes, it remains open. No problem. We are ready to go. And here we are. You have to give credit to my sister. Through here, this way to the bathroom. Well, my sister always books the trips for me, and she always tries to book something good for the room. So, what's the view like? We'll try to film out here. Let's have a look. This is what it looks like here. Okay. What's the plan for tonight? It's already relatively late, so we're going for a walk and have something to eat. And tomorrow morning, we have to be at the trade fair relatively early due to the time difference. I think it starts at 7 a.m., and we still have to drive there. I hope we can sleep right now. It's still relatively early in Germany. Now we're awake again. Well, I slept, but I'm still kind of tired. I'm already late. We have to hurry. The fair is about to start. And yes, that's the view again. According to German time, it's now 1 a.m. But it works. Which outfit are we going to wear? Of course, it's an important day and you want to stand out a little. That's why I'm simply wearing the outfit from... Do you remember when we were in Geneva for the Patek, for the Richard Miele? I'm going to wear the same outfit. And which perfume? There can only be one perfume for such an important day. We have Air Tiger today. Here it is. Air Tiger. We have to wear it today. So, let's see how many sprayers we use here. So, that's good. I think we will need five milliliters. Now that's quite a selection. If you take a look, it's all there, including all the rare ones. This is a wonderful selection and that's how it continues. Every watch, Richard Mill back there too, it's all incredible. All factory. Or here, that's definitely great. So here we have found a new dealer for Omega watches. And I think we can get some good things here. I have found a few things. We've made it, the trade fair is over, and now it's time to go to the hotel. It's just starting in Germany and we still have a few prices to give. Many new watches have arrived. We bought a lot of Omega watches, certainly 70 Omega watches. Of course, they are all sent out. I can't take them with me now. And then we bought Dayjust 36 millimeters, which were quite good in terms of price. What else? That's it. So rather vintage things, which are more popular at home than here. The other watches, such as a new Dayjust 41 or GMT sports watches, Skydweller are all uninteresting, so it makes no sense. Of course, through the tax, through the 19% import, but even without tax, so if you just look at the normal price, it doesn't differ from the offers here. So it was amazing that the prices were so expensive. For example, AP Rose Gold is cheaper here. Patek, especially Patek 5711, 598 was clearly more expensive than here. Yes. The colleague I'm here with, I wonder all the time, I think to myself, I slept tonight. Why am I so tired? I don't think it makes any sense at all until he told me that we were at the fair for eight and a half hours walking around. And yes, that will be the reason. We are now going to an Italian restaurant recommended to us by Nicholas. And now let's see if we can get a few watches online in Germany. Today we are at the second trade fair, which is much smaller. There are still a few traders in the hotel next door. I had a look at the selection yesterday. We'd have to check out a few more day just 36, but I think that's going to be a bit more difficult here. It's much smaller here. So the trade fair is as good as over now. Two or three hours before we have to leave for the airport. This is a normal shopping street and when you walk in, there are these stores everywhere and they already have a huge selection. I haven't even looked at prices yet. 
This is what the whole thing looks like, watch next to watch, and there are definitely some special pieces here. The price range in particular makes no sense for me to buy now. Because there is a 19% import tax, this is more of an issue for America. Since we only have around 3.5% over there, that makes more sense. But we'll just have a look and take a few contacts with us. Time to go, goodbye Hong Kong. We drive to the airport. To sum up, only the trade fair is actually interesting. The watch stores were all much, much more expensive than in Germany. There wasn't a single watch where they said it would make any sense, and even the normal price without 19% import sales tax is already more expensive than in Germany. It's funny, somehow the normal stores in Hong Kong are more expensive than here. That's why we're going over to Dubai again, and I found a little something. Not here, but in Doha. We also look for perfume again in Dubai, and let's see who else we meet up with and record some videos. So, we're on the plane and the flight is a little longer. It lasts just under nine hours. We now change outfits, try to get some rest, but don't sleep. We arrive in the evening and then we can sleep straight away. And tomorrow we'll try to record a few videos. We've just landed. It's now almost 11.30 a.m. The flight took over nine hours and I was bored by the end. But thanks to the internet, you can work well. And this time there is a new hotel, namely the Bulgari. We haven't had that before. Let's see what it looks like. You only hear good things. So, the next day is coming up and I can tell you a few little details. I notice when viewers order something, for example, a perfume sample, and then say, yes, I'll pay that much money. And why does it take a week or two for my perfume to arrive? We talk about it often. I've already said that if you order a car somewhere, you then have to wait two or three years and no one cares. I think, what kind of overlighting? What do I look like? I'll tell you what happens on a trip like this, for example. You fly first class. It can happen, like yesterday, for example, that someone is not quite fit. What happens? You don't get your menu immediately, or you get the wrong card. Some things you don't get, or you have to ask for a drink, or something else. That happens. That's life. Or here, for example. I can't say how much a room like this costs. I haven't booked it myself. But here, for example, people think that a luxury hotel must cost a thousand or two thousand euros a night. The thing is that you have to be relaxed about it. There's no point in getting upset. Even if you had the right, don't do it. It's better for yourselves and for others. Just be relaxed, that's the way it is. Example, we arrived yesterday at check-in. I have two drinks here, although I wanted one. All the other things at check-in, this and that, didn't go smoothly either. Then I come into this room and things are just missing. For example, you have the safe, which doesn't work. These are small things, for example. This bathrobe was not here, or slippers are only available in one size. It was forgotten, but will come. These things happen. In typical German fashion, if I pay so much, I could get upset about why the safe doesn't work. Why are things missing, this and that? It's like this. Therefore, it is best to be relaxed and understanding. Wherever people work, mistakes happen. I don't know what else was missing, but these are things that happen. All I can say now is what strikes me naturally because of the German language and the German community. We tend to always be extremely critical and make extreme demands about everything. That's how it has to be. Unbelievable, etc. Sure, but that doesn't help you. You can get upset about it, you can curse others, but the feelings you put out there will come back to you. That's why it is what it is. So, now let's take a look at the beach. It's a very nice complex in a bay. Compared to the other locations we've been to, fantastic. This is very nicely done. And now a few more shots for our swimming shorts and then we'll see. So the last day begins. I've just had breakfast and we have a few appointments on the gold train today. Unfortunately, it didn't work out with video.
Today, Asim al Qasim was scheduled with Anfas. We had recorded a video about his new collection back then. Unfortunately, the hard disk broke and now he's in London. But maybe we'll even visit him because he's releasing a new collection. And of course, we want to be the first to explain the sense with him. Today, we are visiting some retailers. Yesterday, we visited the perfume suppliers in the Dubai Mall, but there was nothing new there. We have already experienced a lot. And well, that wasn't so productive for video projects, but it happens sometimes. Let's see what's on offer today. The weather outside is nice. Strangely, I have sore muscles all over, probably from walking so much. Everything hurts, my back, my legs, everything. I do not know why. Oh man, if someone thinks after this 30,000 kilometer flight that it's a fun vacation, I can't help them anymore. So last night we had dinner with a friend and I actually don't have a second of free time. I also don't know what time zone I live in at the moment. I've just uploaded a guide on Instagram about why I only took FP Jern watches with me to the trade fair. Very interesting. This is a niche market. FP Jern has been around since 1999 and they currently produce under a thousand watches per year. They are classic watches that will probably never go out of style, so it's not hype. And since Chanel bought into the brand, a lot has happened at the brand. And even though the market has fallen or stabilized, FP Jern prices continue to rise. Because the market is so small and the target group is more likely to be the higher earners and not the Rolex buyer who also has to make a lot of money. Of course, there are risks with the brand that only a few people collect and where there are only a few pieces. If people don't want it anymore, then of course the price will fall. I think that the potential of this brand with thousands of units is still underdeveloped. In other words, I see great potential there. It's exciting to watch and statistics don't lie. Prices are going up. You can't get them in the boutique and they will probably never be out of fashion. A very exciting product. If you are interested in watches, you should take a look at the niche brands beyond Rolex AP Patek. I really like the watch myself and it has to be said, everyone is influenced by impressions. So when we meet someone, and of course it's the same with the watch, and I got a lot of feedback at the trade fair in particular. Collectors with full showcases have said, a very nice watch, which one is that? Ah, 42 meters, interesting. And does it come with papers? And yes, that was very noticeable. That was the reason I put them on. You don't see them often. The whole world comes together at the fair, and there were maybe five, at most ten, Jerna. Of the thousands, tens of thousands of watches, there were ten of them. That means something. Here comes the end, the trip is over. We made our way back and the airport is so full. Incredible, that's why we're ending the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and for me, I hope the next trip and vlog will be America. Maybe it will be next week and then the exciting stories will continue. The trip was very important. We made a lot of new contacts and the next Hong Kong show is next month. Maybe we'll do it, we'll fly there again, and then we'll see. So long, subscribe and leave a like, and we'll see you next time. So, ciao, ciao.